most wind turbine blade failures due to poor design and manufacturing practices that could be eliminated by adopting aerospace industry best processes for composites design and manufacturing. Utilizing a proven PLM solution, such as Katia Composites, will help manufacturers build more durable wind turbine blades and keep pace with growing demand. Katia Composites' grid-based approach enables designers to automate and optimize the preliminary definition. Dedicated features are provided to define the preliminary grid panel, including the positioning of all mating structural reference elements and the staggering of constraints applied to these reference elements. Moving to the grid itself, a set of grid cells is created for each region of the upper blade. It is then possible to capture all structural constraints of the blade panel by importing the stress input through stacking sequences or thickness laws. Virtual stacking management helps to refine the complete stacking of the part, including stacking sequences and shapes by cell. This allows the display of all 3D relevant information from cell names to thickness, thickness laws, or the number of plies. It is also automatically a proposing stacking rules initialization with symmetries and balancing of directions. Finally, it features multiple editing capabilities. Stacking information can be imported or exported any time during the process. Consistency can be checked against the original stacking rules and the original st stress input. As a designer is ready to generate the plies, he can optimize the design by choosing between various algorithms from minimum ply crossing to maximum weight savings. He can also choose ply shapes from cell coverage or stacking order. He can also apply fallback strategies for ply staggering operations. The resulting plies are fully associated to the grid. Powerful ply modification features are then available to tailor the design. Users may either swap ply edges on the screen to optimize drop-offs reroute sets of plies along a preferred path, or utilize local drop-off management. Once the plies are obtained, an associative solid or top surface from plies can be generated based on the various ISO thickness areas of the part. A dedicated feature assists the designer to create ISO thickness surfaces and boundaries within the blade. Adding junction lines to complete the model, the designer can then ask for a creation of a solid or top surface that will remain associative to the grid design and the resulting plies. At the detailed stage, it is possible to manually add plies, including adhesives or bonding strips, and to define core insert parameters for sandwich parts. On-the-fly information is available to fly over the detailed design entities and understand the design faster. Dedicated data query features, like core sampling or numerical analysis, can be used to check local thicknesses and ply stacking. They also provide instant weight, volume, center of gravity, quantities of material, and even cost information. These design checks can be visualized on the fly, stored in the tree, saved for later editing, or exported to external files for later reuse by in-house applications.